Welcome back to another Final Fantasy VII tutorial. I'm Death Unites Us, and my wife and I just bought a new house. This is fantastic news because the 4H Studio will be getting a makeover. But it's also bad news because I didn't get to make a tutorial video last month. So to make up for that, I'm making one of my most requested videos, a tutorial on Emerald Weapon. Before, we talked about Ruby Weapon, specifically how to kill him without even pressing a button on the controller. So to be honest, I was thinking, why even bother making a video on Emerald Weapon? Ruby Weapon is way more difficult. But looking back on my childhood, I started to remember how much of a beginner's trap Emerald Weapon truly is. I mean, how many people, including me, were so excited to get to disc 3 and just scooting around the ocean floor in the sub, like, oh man, check out all these underwater caves, and whoa, check out that thing, and whoa, check out that thing, and whoa, check out that thing, and whoa. What is that? Can, can I? Oh yeah, man! I'm gonna screw this guy up, man! I've been I've been leveling up my materials and and been leveling up my characters, and I I'm just gonna slishity slash wah she slice bam. I'm a fire in my laser. Oh my god! Anyways, I understand why people have trouble with Emerald, so sit back and take notes while I tear Emerald apart and show you exactly how to beat him. So first things first, let's talk about how Emerald actually works. First of all, for everybody saying, what the hell is Emerald Weapon? Well, he's basically a giant fish octopus whale thing that swims around near Junon Harbor. Once the party obtains the submarine, you can fight him by running straight into him. He is the second hardest boss in the game, rivaled only by Ruby Weapon. And since he's harder than the final boss of the game, he's referred to as a bonus super boss. Both Ruby and Emerald Weapon were added to the game after the original Japanese release, and they're available in any other version of the game. In terms of in-game lore, the weapons were created by the planet to defend against extraterrestrial threats. In other words, they are basically the elite alien defense force of the world. Also, weapon is usually spelled in all capital letters. I wonder what it stands for. Wild extra arsenal protecting our nuts? Wandering edible array playing on narwhals? Or perhaps they are just following Final Fantasy VII's strange tendency to capitalize everything. Weapon. Soldier. Avalanche. Anyways, these beasts were created by the planet as a defense mechanism, so they don't screw around. Although, Sapphire Weapon gets its head blown to smithereens by the Mako Cannon, Diamond Weapon gets decimated by that same cannon, and Ultimate Weapon just hovers around trying to blow up lakes. But Ruby and Emerald Weapon, they don't screw around. So the primary gimmick with Emerald Weapon is that he has a timer. We can guess that this is because the characters have to hold their breath, but that means that the characters hold their breath for 20 minutes while fighting and taking lasers to the face. Of course, Blitzball players can hold their breath during a game even when they fall asleep, but that's a totally different universe. Or is it? Anyways, the timer only gives you enough time to beat Emerald if you are constantly doing massive damage to him, so it's a good idea to get rid of it. You can get rid of the timer by going to the Junon Underwater Reactor. If you forget how to get there, first go to Junon and go to the elevator. Ride it up and then take a left. Follow the road all the way to the other side, Keep going till you get to a hallway and take another left. Take this elevator down, go down to the end of the hallway, go down to the end of the next hallway, go down to the end of the next hallway, ride another elevator down, go down one final hallway, and boom, you're there. Now run around in circles in this glass tube area until you encounter a ghost ship. Kill it with the morph command and it'll turn into a guidebook. Then give the guidebook to the traveler in Calm and he'll give you the underwater materia. Equip the underwater materia and no more timer. Also, after you beat Emerald Weapon, you can take the Earth Harp that you get from him to the same guy and he'll give you a set of Master Materia. I always wondered how this Traveler got his hands on all that Master Materia. I mean, you can only get it from him or finding all of the huge Materia in the game and mastering a shit ton of Materia. So how did the Traveler get one of each? In a past life, man, the Traveler was some super badass. Now let's talk about Emerald's attacks. He has a total of 5 attacks in 2 forms. In his first form, he'll use either Emerald Shoot, which deals massive damage and nullifies barriers, or Foot Stamp, which hits the whole party for a little less damage. 
In his second form, he'll use Emerald Beam, which cancels Regan and deals about 63% of your party's current HP, meaning that it can't kill you. Revenge Stamp, which is a counterattack to anything that isn't Bahamut or a Limit Break, and deals good damage while also canceling Haste. And Air Tamstorm, which deals 1,111 damage multiplied by how much materia you have equipped to each character, removes most status effects, and prepare to get your mind blown, is materia spelled backwards. In addition, in his second form, Emerald reveals his four eyes. The two blue eyes deal damage, and the yellow eyes drain MP. If the eyes are destroyed, Emerald will return to his first form. So all of that seems pretty scary, but the key to defeating Emerald is knowing how his AI works. You can take advantage of Ruby's AI somewhat, but for the most part, Ruby does whatever he wants. But Emerald can be completely manipulated, and if you understand how his AI works, it'll make the battle much easier. When the battle starts, Emerald will usually open with three attacks that are either Emerald Shoot or Foot Stamp. After this, he will enter his second form and use Emerald Beam, which cannot kill you because it does percentage damage. He will then attack like this. Eyes, Emerald Beam, Eyes, Air Tam Storm, Eyes, Emerald Beam, and so on. And also counter any attack that isn't a Limit or Bahamut with Revenge Stamp. He will also use Air Tam Storm as a counter to Knights of the Round once he is at Half-Life or lower or if he uses Revenge Stamp 10 times. If you kill all of the eyes, he will go back to his first form and start his pattern all over. Using this knowledge, I have come up with several strategies to help you defeat Emerald, so I'm going to list them all and you can use whichever strategy works best for you. It's also important to note that you can kill Emerald Weapon in a single attack. It involves a glitch called the Overflow Glitch, and I've already made an entire video about it, so I'll be linking to that at the end of this video. Alright, here we go. Strategy number one. The super weenie, I want to do the least amount of work possible strategy. Step 1. Use the W item glitch, which if you don't know what that is, watch my Mastering Material Quickly video, to multiply elixirs or mega elixirs. Step 2. Go fight in the battle arena until you unlock the special arena. Then beat that to get the final attack material. Master this material three times and link it with a revive materia on each of your characters. Step 3. Equip the underwater materia. Step 4. Start the battle. Wait for Emerald to transition to his second form, and kill all of the eyes except one yellow. Step 5. Give me your best evil laugh! Wah ha ha ha! Seriously though, you can't lose now. Revenge Stamp and Air Tam Storm will still kill you, but your characters will revive themselves each time they die. Well, not always. It'll only revive each character five times. But if that isn't enough, you can just equip more sets of Final Attack Revive to extend the effect. Anyways, just keep attacking with single target attacks so you don't accidentally kill the last eye, and throw an elixir anytime somebody's MP gets low, and you can't lose. Strategy number two. The I don't want to use the final attack revive cheese strategy. Well, if you don't want to use final attack, I would advise leveling up all your characters and possibly doing some source farming, which you can learn how to do by watching my ultimate source farming guide video. Shameless promotion. You can make your characters super tanks if you source farm them to max stats and use 4 hero drinks on each of them, reducing Emerald's damage to practically nothing. Air Tam Storm is still going to be a problem if you load your characters with materia, but if you take out the eyes as soon as they come out, he'll never get a chance to use it. One way to do this is by saving your limits until he enters his second form. Limits interrupt any action, so you can fire all of them off before Emerald has a chance to begin attacking. Emerald doesn't use Air Tam Storm until he uses Emerald Beam twice, so you have plenty of time to kill the eyes before that happens. Also, putting your characters in Fury status will help them charge her limits faster, and deal more damage. As for healing, Regan won't work because Emerald Beam cancels it, but you can always designate one party member as the healer, or give everybody a magic counter restore combination so every time they get hit, they heal themselves. Strategy number three. The hashtag LOL 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 no scope 360 Raffle My Copter. Strategy. Step 1. Equip each character with an HP plus materia to get their HP to 9999 and one other materia of your choice. Step 2. Throw Mega Elixirs every time you get hit and eliminate only the blue eyes when they appear. Step 3. Equip Sunglasses. Step 4. Wait for Air Tam Storm, then cue your best party music.
Okay, so this strategy won't actually kill him, but it's still pretty much the coolest thing I've ever seen. Strategy number four, the hashtag Omni Slash strategy. Step one, equip eight mines and eight counters to a pretty buffed up cloud. Step two, use Omni Slash before Emerald attacks. Step three, win. That's, that's it. You won. Game over. Strategy number five. The ultimate no button pressing emerald destruction technique. Strategy. Just as I did with Ruby Weapon, I have created a strategy to beat Emerald Weapon without having to press a single button on your controller. And guess what? It's the same as the Ruby strategy. A final attack revive combo, two final attack knights of the round combos, an HP plus materia, and the HP to MP materia. In that order. Actually, you don't even really need the HP plus materia, but I'll throw it in just for good measure. With this materia combination, all you have to do is enter the fight. Take that, childhood! For those of you wondering how this materia combination works, basically every time you die, your character automatically revives himself and casts knights of the round twice. The reason you need two Knights of the Round materials is because with one you can only summon it five times and you need more than that to take down Emerald's 1 million HP. And with the HP to MP materia, he'll die way before you run out of MP. So that's all I got to say about Emerald Weapon, but before I go, I wanted to talk about something else. I've realized that a lot of you guys only tune into our channel for the Final Fantasy tutorials, and that's totally okay. But did you know that we have over 1700 other videos on our channel? and usually upload a video every day. I used to be a big Call of Duty player, and now I upload a lot of world records and video game challenges, as well as a couple Let's Plays, including a Mega Man Let's Play that I just yell and cuss all the time at, and a Doom Let's Play that I yell and cuss at too, but with a webcam. And my partner in crime, Mad Mike, does tons of Let's Plays for a lot of popular games like Madden and the entire Batman Arkham series, and a lot of comedy videos with games including Grand Theft Auto and Destiny. Now I know what you're thinking, we don't have time to watch all these videos, okay? We got important things to do, like go kill Emerald Weapon. And that's why we just recently released a video called The Best of Foray Productions 2014, a collection of all the best moments from our past year. So if you want to see me continue to make Final Fantasy tutorial videos, and you want to do me a favor as well, go check that video out. Maybe you'll find another series that you'll love, or maybe you won't, and that's fine too. But we'd really appreciate it if you would give some of our other videos some of the love that you give these ones. So, click right there to watch that Best of 2014 video. If you're still wondering how to kill Emerald Weapon in one hit, go check out the Overflow Glitch video here. And if you're totally new to the channel and want to watch more Final Fantasy tutorials, click the link over there. Thanks again for all of the support you guys have given us, and once again, leave a comment below and let me know which tutorial you would like to see next.